Right, guys. We'll keep this short. You know, it um, uh, again, it kind of continues of the the season of the that really just happened. Um, give credit to Air Force. I mean, that's a nine and two team leaving here, uh, but. Uh, you know, again, we're, we're down four running backs. Uh, Mari Davis, Bryson Carroll, Day Day Vigilant, and Javon Jones. Uh, then obviously Tavaka goes down with a pretty significant hamstring, so that's three quarterbacks. Then I think it's four wide receivers. Um, but with that said, uh, really, uh, I thought the effort was good. We couldn't cover, which is an amazing thing to say when you play a triple option team, but I was worried about that going in, quite honestly. Um, I, I think if you look closely, you can see uh, we have two junior college safeties, Jarek Reed and Latavian Beaton, that it's almost impossible. It's almost impossible to get them ready to play in this kind of game. Uh, so you go with your two safeties that have been here, have a little more experience, Johnny Hernandez and Cam Miller, and also Brandon Burton. Um, and we had a hard time matching up and covering them at the end of the day. You know, I thought we played hard. Uh, we just weren't going to cover number seven. I think it was number 20. Both those guys caught every pass. Uh, so in some ways, uh, I thought we played pretty good on defense. Uh, obviously getting the big fumble in the first half to keep it at 14. Uh, then in the second half, that's a huge play in the game, the first series of the second half, uh, whether they ruled it an incomplete pass or a fumble. You're going to have to get a couple of those to beat this team. Um, I thought offensively with a bunch of new guys in there, uh, Bobby Cole, man, he's, he's, he hits it up in there. Bobby Cole's physical. Uh, he's banged up. You know, he has a shoulder that he's going to have to get done after the season. I thought Bobby Cole played hard. Uh, I thought Tavaka, when he was in there, uh, again, um, you know, Aaron Molina dropped one that probably could have been a touchdown. Uh, Tavaka missed Cress on a, on a, on a, in the end zone, which could have been a touchdown. Uh, but Tavaka, again, played with heart, you know, coming out of there scrambling, making plays, kind of like he did at Boise. He played with a lot of fight. Then he goes down with the hamstring on a scramble. Um, you know, Trey Hall came in, got his feet wet. It looks like it'll be Trey Hall next week. Uh, Chad Alexander came in. This is Chad Alexander's fourth game, you know, so really uh, we'll probably hold him out next week in fairness to him. Uh, so, um, you know, a lot of uh, adversity, a lot of adversity, uh, hung in there, played. At the end of the day, couldn't cover them, couldn't cover them, and they exploited that. It, it, it's, it's really that simple. Uh, you know, again, I, I'm really actually proud of, um, proud of some guys and proud the way we played. It's just, uh, um, you know, they didn't punt and they threw the ball on us. But that's going to happen. A lot of teams they don't punt against. If we wouldn't have given up the explosives, we'd have 330 yards passing or something, which is like incredible. Uh, most of it on one-on-one -on -one matchup. So, um, you know, we've got a bunch of seniors here. Uh, you know, we've got to finish this thing up for the seniors. Um, and we got our hands full with Utah State. You know, Utah State plays Boise State tonight, and. Um, we'll have our hands full with that one. So, anybody? Uh, we don't have one. You know, Bryson Carroll um, was the backup, but Bryson Carroll's out. Um, so, we're going to have to – it was a little scary. A little scary coming down the stretch there, you know, with one quarterback. First time you guys showed a lot of promise. Oh, yeah. I mean, we went in concerned about the depth. You know, we, we just, you know, fortunately we got some running backs. You know, a lot of those guys, you know, Bobby Cole, Micah were walk-ons that were put on scholarship. You know, Contrell Moran has the knee. He's trying to gimp through it. So, yeah, I mean, we knew going in. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, we kind of moved it at times, you know, did some good things. We missed a couple opportunities. But, yeah, I mean, we're, you know, our depth is, I mean, we're, we're hurting right now. So for that reason, you know, we, we, we hung in there and fought. And then we couldn't stop the pass. I mean, that's, that's what it was. So what do you do for, for next week to try to develop a backup just in case Trey gets hurt? Yeah, we have a walk-on quarterback, uh, Connor Janal, I believe. 
Am I saying that, pronouncing that right? Connor Janal's a guy that's he's about six foot six. Uh, I call him Kaepernick. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're, it's, uh, you know, I think it'll have to be him because, you, you know, uh, I don't think Bryson will be back, honestly, with the ankle. Huh? Yeah, I'm not sure. Right. I'm not sure. Anything else? You've uh, you talked about this as a season of did that really just happen? Yeah. I mean, with the end of the line next week, is it almost like let's just get this thing over with? You know, I think I think that'd be fair to say. I mean, I'm not going to stand up here and and uh, bury my head in the sand and say what coaches normally say. Uh, we're two and nine now, right? Uh, we've got all these injuries and. You know, truly, I looked to those guys right there on that board, and that's what I talked to our team about after the game was uh, we had really good preparation for this game. We, we put a lot into this game, both coaches, players, everybody. We'll have the same kind of preparation for next week. I mean, I don't even hesitate with that. But, yeah, I mean, there's not a guy involved in this, probably you guys, all the way down to players, coaches, managers, trainers, all of it that doesn't look at that finish line coming. You know, you're human. But with that said, we will finish this thing off the right way with, with class and pride and, and some grit to us. So I don't, I don't even blink about that. But, yeah, I mean, it's hard to say I wish we had five more games right now. I mean, you know, I don't think anybody would say that. I appreciate our guys playing. You know, there weren't, again, I don't blame anyone. There weren't many people out there today. You know, it's a noon kickoff. You're out there playing that whole thing that's Air Force. That's that's a character tester now. That, that that's a character tester. Coach, I'm here celebrating the loss of Marvin Flowers. Uh, is there anything that hasn't been said that you'd like to say right now on camera? I think so. I think most has been said. Yeah. Coach, you start the game with an illegal procedure call, but then you drive right down the field. Yeah. So you have a measure of momentum at that point. It looked like things were working out pretty well. Was it just a matter of them being methodical? Yeah. I mean, exactly. You know, they're they're. You know, and I, I talked to Troy after the game, and I told you guys before, this is the best Air Force team that I've seen since I've been at New Mexico. Uh, their, their offense, um, personnel-wise, you know, 34, the fullback, didn't play. He might have played the first couple plays in the game. He didn't come back for whatever reason. You know, that quarterback, number seven, that wide receiver, um, the slot 24, I mean, they're good, and that offensive line is good. Um, you know, in the first half, we had two false starts. Uh, we had to drop ball by Aaron. We had to miss throw to Crest. That would have been a touchdown. You know, we left a couple opportunities out there. But at the end of the day, you know, if you can make them drive and not give up the explosive in the pass game, which we did, and if you can get that turnover the first drive of the second half when it's 14-10, that, that was a huge call in this game. You talk about momentum, if we had had that ball right there on about the 35-yard line going in. You know, but at the end of the day, they're better than us. Um, they're a little stronger than us. Uh, they're, they're a little more machine-like than we are, a little more consistent. They're a better team. They're a better team. Anything else? Okay, guys. Sure, guys.